Just coming on and checking in to see who can maybe come hang out with me tonight. So yeah, if you are here with me, say hello. Tell me who you are, because I cannot see. Hmm. So before it got really dark, I wanted to show up tonight in this space and just truly trust the moment and trust the people that show up here with me and trust the message that is here to come through in some way. So maybe taking a couple of breaths with me, inhaling deeply, just coming into your center, Taking it all in, coming home into yourself with each new breath, and then exhaling, releasing. As a yoga teacher, I spend a lot of time in pranayama practices, in breath work, connecting to breath. Um, it's, a, it's definitely an incredible way to center yourself, to ground yourself, to bring yourself back home. So yeah, if you're watching, say hello. Or give me some hearts, some loves. Hey Lori. Hey Tim Higley. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Susanna, or Suzanne, Kendra. So what's everybody doing on the Tuesday night during the quarantine? <laughs> yeah, Lori, I love you. I need to come into Red Lotus life. So I can tell you actually a little bit about my brand new online course that I am um, forging and putting together and brewing together that begins on May 22nd and it's an incredible online journey into the underworld, into the darkness, into the magic of the dark divine feminine into the magic of what can be found into or in the darkness when you take courage to descend and when you take courage to face maybe some of your fears and say and face some of your guilt and also face your shame or any feeling of unworthiness undeservedness in any way um, if you want to dig a little deeper and to find some courage and strength and in, instead of um, guilt, um, maybe you wish to feel some empowerment in, instead of fear, maybe you wish um, to feel courage. So um, through this work, um, you truly get to deconstruct all of um, all of the old beliefs that you wish to deconstruct that are standing in your way or in your current path 
um, of your own discoveries of either yourself or your purpose or your soul, whatever you're on the path of discovering. Hey, beautiful Jackie, I miss you. We're just thinking about you the other day in our amazing San Diego trip and um, how beautiful it was. So, yeah, when we do um, deep inner work, we truly can't avoid doing the shadow work. And doing the shadow work is what allows us to go into that dark space and to be brave and to overcome our fears of the darkness and maybe some discomfort and not understanding of the darkness. Um, because this is the place that has been hidden from us for so long and this is the place that has been turned into um, thinking that it's bad or evil um, and so we just don't go there or we're not allowed to go there or, or we just simply don't know how so um, to do shadow work um, I definitely would recommend a mentor and a teacher and a guide um, and um, I am that person that will take you that would take you that will hold your hand that will sit with you and to allow you to go through and to process through any trapped emotions of fear shame guilt pain anger anything that is not true about yourself any of your old stories old patterns frozen beliefs anything that is keeping you away from that true connection to your soul and from your soul that true knowing of what your purpose is on this planet or on this earth uh, in this lifetime currently in whatever situation that you're in around yourself your life your families your communities so whoever you show up for in your life and how do you show up for them and what is blocking you so through this work you're able to release any blocks or dissolve through any obstacles because by acknowledging our fears and our guilt and our shame we truly are able to transform and to transmute and to rewrite our stories and repattern our, our ways where we are more aware and we are more conscious and there's an essence of power about you that is so genuinely trusting in the feeling of safety thank you thank you Jackie I wrote something the other day in my journal and um, I wrote saying, I wonder, I often have this energy that I often trigger people in different ways. So I do trigger them um, as a nurturing force, um, recognizing that within yourself, otherwise you wouldn't see it in me, so thank you. And then there is also some people I know that can't run away fast enough from my energy because um, it is triggering or it's it there is a charge of um, I'm here to serve as a reminder as a reminder to take a look at yourself to take a look at your shadows to take a look at your fears and I'm here to call you on them and um, I know that that's something that people recognize as well. And that's okay because, you know, I'm not for everyone. Just like we all are unique. Yeah, we are all so unique to what we are here to bring, definitely. And so um, this was also kind of an experiment for me when I used to first um, also a yoga teacher 
and that's my absolute passion it is one of my tools that connects me to that place of um, like a constant flow or a constant connection and so when I first began to teach yoga I would prepare I would prepare every lesson I would kind of create a flow sequence you know I'd, I'd, I study continue to study um, the yoga traditions and the yoga styles and there was a point where I didn't prepare and I went in and I just um, taught a class and it was beautiful and I was kind of winged it but it felt like it was so divinely led and ever since that moment um, I still study but I don't prepare and so each time each practice is so different and it's so um, inspired and it's always exactly the energy that's needed in the room from people and so today was kind of the same I wanted to kind of test and click go live and have no agenda and nothing prepared as so often we do and uh, just to see who comes into my space and um, just to see what comes through and whatever message that anybody can or needs to hear in this moment um, sometimes all it is is one word or one sentence to activate something within each other could be one phrase that we read um, that we feel that must be shared and Jackie I have you have inspired me um, through so many of your posts so I'm so grateful for that so yeah amongst other things I think I wanted to maybe share tonight um, that I am going to becoming more live and sharing more because um, I feel that I do, um, I desire to be, to share more of, of what's coming through to me, f through me in this time. Hello, Cheryl. And so whoever it will serve or whoever it will reach, um, I believe that's, I believe that's the way uh, for me to do it. And so I am calling truly and I noticed myself actually when I get friend requests um, I will almost I will not almost I will always friend all women and very rarely I will friend male Facebook friends it's interesting um, but that just makes my, my point that I show up for women. Um, I, I will show up for my men in my life and for men in general, but I show up for women and um, for all women inclusively. And I truly honor and I bow to the wisdom of the feminine and the feminine that I can serve through whatever comes through me my teachings my courses because this is my life's passion and um, I am doing it for the rest um, for as long as it's alive in me because as we evolve and we grow um, we also evolve and grow in our offerings and so we just never know what will come through in a year or five or ten I'm only going to trust that I am the vessel and the conduit of the divine energy that comes through a service from somewhere higher or somewhere from within my own center that is here to bring ease and suffering to humanity around me in some way in my own community and also in the online space because the online space is a very much a sacred space to bring forward your uh, message in the way of your passion your service your love your purpose so that you can bring healing into the world in some way that your um, 
your person is here to do your body or divine being or your soul inside your body so all yeah all the pain and all the fear and the shame and the guilt and the anger all of that that we carry within us all of that that, that we remember within us even if it doesn't always happen to us we can remember those sensations from our mothers our grandmothers or generational wounds um, it's almost necessary that we do this shadow work that we continually come back into that darkness within us and we release and we work with it and we untrap ourselves we untrap deeper layers of our fears because as we grow and ascend through our purpose and our service um, we each time experience deeper wounds and deeper layers of fear and deeper layers of either shame or guilt or feeling undeserving um, and each time almost each time it's uh, it could be also a daily work for many of us who continue to show up on a daily basis for the world in some way we continue pressing the button and we continue to speak in our message and we continue to teach and to bring forth what it is that's coming through us and by deconstructing all of those limiting beliefs and lim limiting thinking thinking that have this far shaped us into what or who we are as we climb out from all of these old beliefs and old patterns hello lauren as we make our way out from from this space somehow we know that when we hurt the most we also grow the most and oftentimes to heal part of us that may have been lost along the way takes courage to experience the pain again but this time we know that by experiencing this pain we are also healing deeper layers of ourselves mm. I was recently diagnosed with dissociated identity disorder stems from multiple trauma before age seven yeah it's so interesting thank you for sharing that Cheryl as we are born and as we develop and as we grow and um, evolve from a young young age um, our chakra system develops as we grow so before the age seven you know all that rooting energy from the earth the family the the generational um our safety security stability through the roots growing through the the second chakra in those young 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 years almost even months it can definitely stem into so much um of needed healing later in life healing the wounds and the trauma from young age and energy healing is an incredible tool and um, an incredible gift to assist in in the healing of the old past traumas and trapped emotions that we may have witnessed at some point in our lives from our families around us our friends or relatives and then they get stuck within our bodies within our organs and um, I work with this kind of energy to release the old trapped emotions that may have been causing 
whatever it is in our lives now. So, even now when we look back at the old fear that may have been with us um, years ago, five years ago, ten years ago, any fear that we have lived with for decades and maybe now that we were able to work through it and it's gone, we can turn back and see right through it and see what that fear has caused us for years and years and years of some kind of a frozen pattern or depression or illness in the way. And so by deconstructing these old and trapped emotions and by releasing them out of our systems, out of our meridians, we truly free ourselves in the way. And we, you know, um, Cheryl, if you read books or if you listen to books, um, I recommend if you haven't yet to read or listen to Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. And I also recommend doing his meditations. Um, yeah, I will just let you, if you have not heard of him, Dr. Joe Dispenza, Becoming Supernatural. He's a doctor and he is, um, he was in a car accident. And I know he had a broken spine in many places and he was able to, you know, heal himself from from energy, from really realizing our powerful potential, our supernatural abilities to heal and aid ourselves. So anyway, I think um, yeah, I have all alternate states of consciousness or alters I have seven yeah I definitely look into that book so yeah as we show up for ourselves as we show up for others we truly are able to grow and to serve in the way that comes through us because as we begin to serve others it's often all out of our hands and the words that we say and the things that we do the, the offerings that we bring into the world are um, are no longer under control of, of the physical body they're fully guided and led and inspired and activated and brought through by that um, divine center that is fully aligned now with the embodiment of this physical body. So this work, this shadow work and the shadow magic work that I am creating or that's coming through me is a truly a, a deep dive into those emotions that are maybe trapped within our bodies. And there might be many emotions that are surrounding the fear or that are surrounding the guilt or the shame. And you can get to the root cause and you can look back at a young age of yourself as well as your mothers and grandmothers and other lives as well. Mm. So I'm so gl I'm so glad to hear that um, there are always so many ways that we may be healing ourselves as we are also healthy. So yeah, thank you, thank you, Cheryl. one thing that i learned from dr joe dispenza that is has made a huge impact in my life is the way he invites you to feel gratitude 
for your future gratitude for the intention that you visualize that you can dance through um, gratitude for what you can see yourself having in the way that because once we feel gratitude it means things have already taken place things have already happened when we say thank you we're saying it usually for something that we have received and so when we allow ourselves to be full of that sense of gratitude for the intention we're setting for the future it's like a seal of um, that there's no other choice or a chance that it just won't happen or it won't come true because this sense of gratitude actually helps us in creating what we're here to bring to create our intentions so yeah showing up for myself showing up for all women inclusively continually and also consistently on a daily is um, one of my commitments in some way I can show up daily and um, not to separate myself from what I do because this is all like a wholesome purpose work and um, there's no days off or days on it's always this con consistent flow where everything just takes its own um, divine guidance and flow. And there's time for all. And time doesn't exist anymore and it's just like one flowing wave or one flowing life. And um, yeah. And feeling like those days of going halfway or half assing anything of the past those days are completely over and they're no longer here and so showing up more and getting over more and, and oh yeah as I began this came back to me um, as I as I this was a little bit of a research as I push the button go live how will I feel here in this space because now I'm in the place of uh, teaching in the place of sharing a message um, how does this place feel and so I wanted to s test it out because when I started doing that with teaching yoga I was placed always um, just surprised and shocked and just incredibly in awe by the guidance through my body through my voice and this was a little experiment tonight to go live and to see what is being born or how it will be born and who it will reach in some sort of way and uh, my work is here as um, a guidance from the divine as a service to um, allow women to tap into their potential and to free themselves from the chains of fear guilt and shame and anger free themselves from the chain of any lies or the untruth that they're living in their lives to have the courage to speak up and to bring their voices forward and to release the illusion, the illusion of all of these blocks, illusion of all of these demons and shadows. And also to be, to let go of attachments, to all the attachments to things or people know that we are already whole. And healing from woundedness to wholeness fully so that we can finally be who we are and we can finally show up as that sacred soul that you were born here to be in your physical body and to bring forward into the world all that you came here to bring all that you've set and committed to one day realize and to bring it forward and to step over the illusions and to step over the fears 
like that holographic image that we get to look back five years ago we're over it so it's like a never-ending layer upon layer and each time we become stronger and more courageous until we are so fierce that nothing can stop us so and that um, goal is just ever so um, it's like an always journey that never ever ever ends and it never gets easier unless you do the work the daily practice for your soul a daily connection a daily sadhana a daily journaling a daily exercise of any kind to connect yourself to your purpose to your service and to ask simply how can i serve today more how can I serve the divine today? In what way and who can I touch today? It's so true, Laura, and all it takes is for us to step forward and declare something. That is it. You are, you are right, 100%. All it takes is that declaration, a choice, a decision, a reclaiming of yourself, a reclaiming of that part of you that is no longer afraid, reclaiming that part of you that is empowered and no longer feels shame or guilt for something, knowing that in, in, your, in your worst, you did your best. And to empower yourself from, from meekness to empower, empowerment and your highest self. No bells and whistles required, yes. As we grow, we come more and more to that realization. If you know, sometimes bells and whistles are really fun and they add um, extra magic and extra mystery. Yet we know that all we need is, is simply our physical bodies here in this present moment and to take a breath in and to feel the breath go in and discover something new within yourself and release as you breathe out something that no longer serves you that came along a long time ago always make a choice to not water do not waver in, in choice making make it and make it and go with it thank you I appreciate your presence, Lauren, online. I appreciate your commitment and dedication. I see you and I see your message being shared with the world. And I see how it also impacts others and I see their comments. And I have a lot of gratitude for you. yes thank you no not making any rational decisions take 24 hours to make a choice do not waver for weeks or months it's so true you're saying everything i was feeling today as well the divine timing is actually up to us we don't wait for divine timing maybe i will offer this one course that i wanted to make um, next um, let's see today's May maybe I'll offer it in in January 1st no that could happen maybe possibly but probably not or maybe it will and that's great and that's fine but you can also make a choice to create something now today now tomorrow you can wake up and decide that yes I'm going to be now that person that I promised myself one day to be and finally I'm awake and I remember it and someone just reminded me of something someone it doesn't even matter you may listen to so many um, inspirational teachers and mentors and coaches out there and sometimes it takes only one word or one sentence to make an effect on someone or to trigger in someone their um, memory memory or their remembrance 
I used to waver a lot and think things through way too much. Okay, think about it. Run through the facts, but do it in 24 hours. Yes. And for me, um, when any kind of choice like this has to be made, journaling or writing down is so important because the answer will literally come through on the paper because when we journal the soul in that moment is speaking through you it's like a chance for the soul to hurry forward and rush forward and give this message to this body to these eyes to this understanding to truly tune in and receive it so often um, when i write i will end up writing these big big words because i can't like my divine inspiration my mind can't keep up with my divine inspiration so i want to like put it all down and it looks like big big words and then after i will read it again to myself and i will s feel so much gratitude because the message is coming through for me as well from my soul for this body to deliver in some way or to live it in some way So anyway, I think I've been on for a while and I probably should go and feed my family some dinner. With this, um, I mean, we're not quarantined anymore in my state, but I feel like everything is still closed and um, I don't want to go to many places. And so our schedule, I'm sure a lot of people's schedule is completely off and different with dinners and lunches and kids are sleeping in they're doing their homework late their schoolwork later than no normal school hours and we're just like having off hours anyway so maybe my message today is to show up for yourself and show up for others and who like maybe ask yourself who do you show up for who are the people that you show up for who do you want to reach? What does your message speak? Who, what, who does your message speak to? And show up for them and know that they are desiring you. And know that they're waiting for you. And it's good to have those amazing relationships with close people and, and close family members and best friends they love you and they know how amazing you are but the rest of the world also wants to see you and the rest of the world wants to enjoy your presence and receive from your presence is that divine message that's coming through you so anyway um i'll be back with more i'm also posting on my page some meditations that i'm creating every day or every other day um about a little journey into the darkness each one has a little journey into the darkness to see what you can find there they're beautiful and short and um, each one is a special one each one takes you through the dark tunnel a dark well and each time you find something beautiful in there so I invite you to tune into those um, they're just videos on my page I'm so glad Cheryl thank you for your presence thank you for being here for your energy know that you're not alone know that you have many of us out, out here out in the space all around the world this is a global platform and as we are here as teachers we also we use it to re give and receive equally so thank you for your presence i know that you are a beautiful vibration and to the world and have a beautiful night sweet dreams or beautiful day whenever you watch this and um, if you are here and you're resonating you can leave me a heart thank you for being here have a beautiful night 
Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Peace to all. Many blessings.